Hey guys, it's Half I am back again and I'm going to do a nail art tutorial -y thing today. This is actually part of a collab which I've kind of jumped in at the last minute, like you do. Uh, in the Geeks and Beauties group, uh, a lovely lass by the name of Andrea started a Sailor Moon inspired project pan called One Month One uh, Senshi uh, and each month has been assigned colours according to which character from Sailor Moon um, it actually is and March is, is the first month, this is March through to the end of the year I believe uh, March's colours are pink and white and whilst I um, am not going to do the project pan which is five items that fit the theme uh, I saw Omnea do a nail art and some people are doing a makeup look inspired by the same thing um, like uh, Mascara Cakes did a makeup look um, for the month because not everybody does project pans so, um, and I have enough projects on the go at the moment without adding something more in so I thought I would do a nail art for this so the first month is Sailor Moon um, I have seen a couple of episodes, it's not really in my wheelhouse, but <laughs> I'm not really that into cartoons and stuff like that, so, um, but I thought I would just do a, I thought I'd do a stamping nail art, just for something completely different. So I have prepped my nails, I have three coats of Ultra 3's Candy Mohau, which is this really pretty pink. Ultra 3 is a brand that we get in Australia. Um, I keep getting asked about it. Um, I just created and designed in Australia, but made in Taiwan because it's cheaper to make stuff overseas. Uh, the middle two fingers, which are the two that are going to get stamping on them, have both got a layer of sesh feet top coat on them. So they're the two that are going to get stamped on. I am going to be stamping with BYS French White. And I will be using my Beauty Big Bang Stamper. I also have some sticky tape for some cleanup. Uh, I have some acetone in a container here as well. I have my lint roller, which is what you use to clean off your stamper. The acetone is for cleaning the stamping plates and cleaning up around the nails. And my little grabby doodad thing, this stops you from messing up your nails. Um, I have a cotton round folded up and attached to the end with acetone on it. Um, it just makes it easier just to you know, clean up your stamping plate. Uh, on the two fingers I'm not stamping on, I am going to be putting on a coat of Twinkled Pink from Sally Hansen's Triple Shine line. I have my scraper. Um, I have cleanup brush. This happens to be an e.l.f. professional concealer brush. This is the cheapy one. This is my go-to. I buy these whenever I get an opportunity to, basically. Um, yeah, so the two stamping plates I'm going to use. This one here is a Moyu stamping plate. Um, I'm actually going to use either this one or this one or this one. One of these two ones with a little bowl on it I'm going to use on one finger. And the other stamping plate I have has this really awesome image which is, you know, very Sailor Moony -y. Um Right there there's Born Pretty's BP06. So those are the two stamps that I'm going to use on the middle two fingers. So we will, I need to, as you can see, the end of my stamp has got all the stuff on it. So I just use the, just to clean it off. You don't want to put um, anything other than soap and water on a stamping stamper, otherwise you will mess it up. Um, these stampers are particularly good because they are see-through. Um, so you can see through the end of them where you're placing them on the nail, which is pretty important if you're doing something like something like this, which is a French tip um, 
piece so that you can see exactly where you're placing it on the net. So we will any mini money mo let's use this one. picked up pretty well. We have all this bit down the bottom. What I do is I just roll my thumb on it. You can use sticky tape to pick up the bit of the image that you don't actually want. And then place and press. Don't know how well we're going to be able to see that because it doesn't want to focus. And just a little bow. On the nail. Now, you're probably wondering about the sticky tape thing. You could just clean up around your nails uh, with acetone, but what I do is use a little bit of sticky tape, pick up the bit that you want. You probably didn't use it. Pick up the bit you don't want with the sticky tape. Now, there is a reason for putting a top coat on when you. Um, a stamping it actually makes it easier if you mess up to clean it up without having to replace your nail polish. So there's a little stamped design. Now I'm not hundred percent happy with the um with the colour payoff so I'm actually gonna do it again. Um, and basically just stamp straight over the top. So having the clear stamper makes it much easier to make sure that when you stamp over it, you basically get it right on top. And then And you can see it just picks it straight up. It's a little bit on the corner here. Saves cleaning up. Because um, one of the things with acetone is acetone is actually quite drying to the skin. Um, so one tries not to use it. The other thing, of course, as I've mentioned in my other videos, I actually have um, acrylic nails, like acrylic overlays on my nails. So using um, acetone on my actual nails would damage the acrylic. So I'm just going to, even though I'm not going to use this again, just clean it and move it out of the way. And grab our other one. Go through the same process. Now, I know I probably make stamping look really easy. It does take a lot of practice, though. Um, doesn't always work exactly the way you want it to. As you can see, it picked up pretty great. Pretty happy with that. pretty good. Although it did mess up the moon bit a bit. Just a wee bit. But I'm going to do the same thing again. Um, although this white is okay, it's not the best, it's not the most pigmented. 
um, the stamping with because um, it's not an actual stamping polish, it's just a red regular polish. And some regular polishes, whilst they work for stamping, you won't quite get the colour payoff that you would with a uh, proper stamping polish. So take that into consideration. Um, and there's no reason why you can't double stamp if you've got like a clear stamper like this, which allows you to see exactly what you're doing. did mess that up ever so slightly. So the moony thing underneath has been messed up ever so slightly, but that's alright. You still get the idea. Clean off my stamper. I try to make sure that I clean up things before I put them away, even though I clean them again when I pull them out to use them again. It's sort of a force of habit thing. Um, so that you put things away clean. some added bling. That's right, get it on myself and not on the nail. Um, I'm going to do a teeny tiny bit of clean up on my middle nail. using cleanup brush, acetone. And I always recommend that people, if you're going to be using acetone, just buy it from a hardware store. It's actually much cheaper than buying an acetone nail polish remover. Um, just buy straight acetone. Hardware stores sell it and it's usually way less than a beauty store type place will actually sell it for and you get like a litre bottle it's, I just think it's better value to buy it that way um, nail polish removers that have acetone in them that are nail polish, like labelled as nail polish removers usually have other additives in them which means they're not actually 100% nail um, acetone they can help your the condition of your nails but it, um, they don't necessarily work as effectively because they're not just straight acetone, they have other stuff in them. So on this, um, this bow finger, when I put my top coat on, I'm actually going to add a little tiny um, pink, one of these little pink jammy things. So I'm just using Seshvite, which is my preferred uh, top coat. It dries faster than pretty much everything else I've ever used. And I'm quite impatient when it comes to get, doing my nails. So I don't always want to have to wait for stuff to dry. on. I should have opened the container first. Use my little orange stick with a teeny tiny piece of stuff on the end of it. Just stick that down. Just because I can. <laughs> Top coat the last finger. And that is our manicure for Sailor Moon in pink and white 
for one month one senshe created by Andrea and in collaboration with a bunch of other people from Geeks and Beauties everybody else will be listed down below if you want to subscribe click the button down below leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish nail art type videos and leave me a comment down below I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video see ya